Welcome back everyone, here we are with the USS Salmon, doing a great job last time sinking a couple of whale factory ships and a couple of oilers and merchants as well. Uh, we're making our way up to our objective, um, however we're constantly under the, well, constantly under surveillance of enemy aircraft and we're diving down Thankfully we're spotting them on the surface to air radar and we're diving down before they can get to the area but um, yeah it's a slow progress during the day but as you see the sun is setting so very soon the darkness hours of night time will be upon us where we can surface the boat and um, go a little bit quicker uh, but yeah we've obviously attracted a lot of attention from our recent exploits not surprising and uh, yeah all we can do is keep diving down and hiding from them. So here we are finally under the cover of darkness we can surface get some fresh air in the boat and uh, get on the surface and use the diesel engines recharge those batteries at the same time. It's overcast, which is uh, making it darker than usual, which is not too bad. Slightly more scattered over there, you can see the stars. Uh, but we're heading this direction, straight up north almost, straight up north almost, past Taipei into the Formosa Strait, and that is where we are to uh, arrive and receive new orders, probably to sink enemy shipping in the area, but um, we've made a good start with the whaler and the, um, what we get? we got the whale, two whale factory ships for 17,900 tonnes, a medium oiler for 5,000 tonnes and a medium tanker for 4,000 tonnes, so yeah it's been a good start to the patrol for sure, um, now under the cover of darkness we'll stretch her legs a little bit more with the um, diesel engines and hopefully get up to roughly where the uh, mission orders point is before morning. Uh, not expecting too much in the way of traffic this evening, so we'll just blat up there and uh, I'll bring you back if anything does arise during the night. Okay, we've arrived at the rendezvous point where we uh, would receive further orders, and we have just got them from Com Sub, -Sub Pack to SS Salmon. Search and destroy any enemy shipping wherever found. Captain authorized. Uh, Autonomy. Area X sink sink them all. Okay, so as we thought, it is just an open um, attack any enemy shipping in this area. So we're going to start laying siege to the Formosan Formosan Strait, blockading any large shipping coming in or out, and hopefully uh, we can add to our tally along the way. Hopefully, it is not just sampans, junks, and yeah, smaller sailing vessels. We want the big, well, big warships would be really juicy, but you know, big merchant shipping will be just the ticket. The darkness gives us protection from the aircraft, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, enjoy our time on the surface as long as possible. Uh, anything else happens, I'll bring you straight back. But for now, we'll continue to patrol around the foremost and straight. Okay, we have detected an enemy warship. Uh, bearing 224, you can hear the um, hydrophone contact signature. It's dropping away a bit.
moving around to 215. Oh, we slow it down. Periscope up. Right, here we go. So this is the periscope here. As you can see, it's a miserable day. We're obviously underwater. Uh, 2.15, wasn't it? Over here somewhere. There's a warship. It's probably just a armed trawler or a destroyer. It seems to be a single ship, but it is registering as a warship, so we've got to be careful. It's the first real contact we've seen um, since we've got to the objective. Uh, and we are patrolling uh, back and forth uh, in the mouth of the Formosa Strait because the Formosa Strait itself is incredibly shallow. It's probably only in some places a couple of meters below the keel uh, when we're on the surface uh, to the seabed so uh, it's not a place you want to be doing engaging enemy shipping and potentially having to dive to protect yourself because they're going to be able to throw a stone at you and hit you so yeah the weather's pretty closed in no sign of that warship behind us but um, we'll keep an eye on and we're moving well we're moving away so say 180 is directly behind us so it is behind us we're moving not with any great sound reduction at the moment but um, they're not pinging us so we'll just uh, keep doing what we're doing and keep an eye in that direction to see if they start following us oh there she is there she is, coming out of the murk. Right. Uh, looks like a destroyer. Need to get locked on. We may be able to. No pings yet, so let's just slow down to a crawl because I don't want them to. Oh, they're pinging us. They know we're here. Right. And they're kind of like that angle. Range is not going to be much. Uh, range, let's put down to say, pretty close. Thousand meters. I've lost them already. Oh crap. Is that them there? Not good. They know where we are and I've lost sight of them. Give me a bearing. Oh, there they are. Don't know the speed either. Um, we could probably guess that probably did about 10 knots because they're not on their run at the moment. Let's get a couple of torpedoes open, ready to go. Oh, fire! Periscope down, periscope down, take her down, she's seen us. Oh my goodness me. Okay, we got uh, fired a shell. It landed in the water near us, damaged the periscope he head. Uh, oh, our hull took a bit of a crimple as well, so we're not looking particularly good on that front either. Um, but thankfully, repair teams are on it. We can't obviously do anything about the night periscope head, so we're okay for the moment. Okay, we've got him over at 113 degrees, moving, ah, oh, moving around to 110. Um, we're coming down to 150 meters now, so uh, we are, I'll say safe, we're not, he can come and... He's pinging us. Right, so he knows where we are. We may need to go on the attack here. I think a defensive movement will um, potentially cost us with this active pinging so uh, we'll see if he does a pass then we'll come up to periscope depth and see if we can get a spread of torpedoes away and see if we can either deter him or uh, sink him
we're getting rumbled. What's the damage? Oh. Oh, the deck gun's damaged. Okay, not worried about that at the moment. Okay, we are just about surviving. Uh, come down. We, we went hard, hard starboard and uh, flank speed ahead. Uh, our hull is badly damaged. It looks like they fired a shell and it's hit the bow um, and done some damage there. Amazingly, the torpedo tubes, which are slightly below that, are intact. But um, yeah, we are. We're pretty vulnerable at the moment. Okay, we've come up to periscope depth. We're going to fire a spread of torpedoes. I've got tubes fives. Uh, six and eight open. There he is. Right, he's coming in like that. Speed's going to be a little bit quicker. Let's get him up to about 16, 17 knots. Range. Oh, we haven't identified him. I can't even see him now. He's under the waves. He's about there. Right, tube five, fire. Tube six, fire. And then we're, we're changing this. Fire. Let's go down. Okay, we're diving down. We sent a spread of three torpedoes out. One has struck home, um, but it obviously hasn't disabled the vessel because the sonar pinging is constant and we are dropping down as quickly as we can. Okay, we've just backed up. Um, destroyer has literally just gone in front of us. I can't quite see it here. Um, but depending on which way he turns, if he turns to starboard, we'll be able to come up to periscope depth and he'll be right in our sights to get, for us to give another spread of four torpedoes to try and sink him. Um, we've only got one torpedo in the rear tubes which has been loaded. Not quite sure how the forward tubes are going to operate. Um, the doors have opened on all four, uh, but I will be sceptical if not they all work perfectly due to uh, the damage we've taken on the bow. Okay, we are coming up to periscope depth. The ship should be... there she is. She's definitely going a lot slower. Right, let's mark that there. I'm going to put that down to say three knots, something like that. She's going much slower, markedly slower. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Two hits! We've got two hits! We filled the four. We fired four torpedo. Oh, and there she goes. 
We can risk more periscope. I think she's gone. My goodness, we fired, what, eight, maybe seven torpedoes against her? Three hits? And she's gone. That's not what we want to be spending our torpedoes on, but it means we live to fight another day. I think the first one went wide. No, the first one went behind, the second one went wide, and then the, the next two were on the mark, which is perfect. Oh, confirmation is it? Yes, a destroyer escort. Uh, Tachi Banan class. Um, 1,325 tons. Oh, but more importantly, our duel is over. We have survived. She's got a lot of damage. Let's surface the boat and get repairs underway because we are badly damaged. I'm sure we are leaking all over the place. Yes, and there she goes, surface slipping off. beneath the waves. The <sighs> that was a necessity, getting rid of her. We live to fight another day. Ah, there she is, burning away. I don't know why they've manned the deck gun. I didn't ask them to, as far as I'm aware, but um, they're just getting uh, prepared. Oh, he's got a um, light bending helmet, which is quite interesting. Right, secure from battle yes, stations. Secure from battle stations. All right, well done, everyone. Let's check out these uh, repairs we're required to do. Let's see if we can do them as quickly as possible. Uh, let's not hang around here. Let's get underway. Yeah, you see the um, oh, a lot of bow damage. Torpedo tubes seem to work okay, so they seem to be, which are lower down on the bow, of course, uh, unaffected. It's obviously just blown away the um, the top part, which you know, realistically should be uh, curtains for us. But we did just fight another day. Um, 50% hull damage it's recording, so um, yeah, we don't want to run into any large fish because that'll probably be the end of us. <laughs> so let's move on um, and see if we can get these repairs underway. Okay, we're quickly diving. We've been on the surface, but apparently radar's picked up an enemy destroyer coming in. So uh, we are diving down as quickly as we can um, to get out of here. Well, we're not actually moving. Come on. Keep moving, we'll use the uh, dive planes to drive us down as well. Yes, sir. Ahead to third. Okay, we've got a heading of two or bearing of two eight eight. Let's have a look. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Single warship, destroyer, hunting. The problem is, we've seen numerous, um, since the time we sunk that destroyer, we've seen numerous other destroyers on their own or in pairs patrolling up and down this strait. I've, for the most part, been trying to just evade them because it's dangerous, but um, yeah, it seems that that is uh, maybe the purpose of our visit here to weaken these uh, patrolling vessels. The, the downside, of course, is. Um, it's, we're vulnerable to them, and there's been little, or well, actually, there's been no merchant traffic up and down here since we've been here the last couple of days. So, uh, maybe we just, if he engages, well, we'll obviously have to engage as well. We've got one torpedo in the rear, and we've got a full spread in the forward tubes. Uh, maybe we just try and get out of here again. We'll be dueling in a lot better weather this time. Uh, there it is. It looks like an armed trawler, actually. Uh, it's not much to write home about. But uh, yeah, it's definitely some sort of... Wow, look at that! The old field gun mounted on there. That is crazy. It's kind of the um, lengths that they were kind of improvising some patrol vessels. But yeah, that could be that. A Corvette sub-chaser class. Ah, okay. In that case, maybe we do need to have the first blow, knock her out of the 
take her a, a bit of a sucker punch to try and knock her out. Right, tube two, or tube three. Get a little bit more speed. Fire. Right, two torpedoes in the water. Hopefully we can catch her unawares. Ah, oh, she's turned. She's turned. They've missed. Bloody hell. Ah, oh, all three torpedoes will have missed now because she's just made evasive maneuvers. Right, okay, let's um, not waste any more time. Let's just get away and try and hopefully she didn't notice that and um, we can slink away. It was worth trying to badger her. We've lost the initiative. Let's get away. Try and slink away. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, it's been a while. We've managed to evade that sub-chaser. We bumped into it a couple more times. A few days has passed since you last joined us, but uh, I've taken the decision, despite our objective not being fully complete uh, as hunting enemy shipping in that area, I've decided with the damage we've taken to the boat, it's not worth risking her any further with the crew. We are setting sail back to home base for repairs. Uh, we will of course engage any enemy targets we come along the way and this is one of those occasions uh, we've got apparently a merchant bearing oh sister it is just a sail ship but maybe it's a lovely still evening get the deck gun crew do a bit of practice maybe that will just tick over the um, objective so we'll engage this uh, sampan or whatever it is over here okay we're in a position now where we've Cross the T to stop them getting away. There they are, right. Um, high explosive should be loaded, probably just under 900. Boom. There goes the front sail. Fire sail. Fossil. What do they call it? I think it's a sandpan. Could be something else, but uh, we'll get us sunk anyway. Straight through and avoided. She's now making evasive maneuvers. Can't imagine it's much longer. There we go. Um, do we? Get no, she's not dead yet. Well, I never. Okay. Continue to. Bombard this little ship. There goes its main sail. And there goes all its sails. There we go. Sampan, 80 tons sent to the bottom. Perfect. Right. Stow the deck gun. And we'll, we'll continue on. Hopefully, that'll tally up and they'll uh, knock that off our objective. Slowly sinking under. Another 80 tons added to the logbook. And one more small Japanese merchant vessel, which will not be providing any more assistance to the war effort. Okay, we've been caught um, with an enemy aircraft. 342, he's ahead, is he? We're actually turning that way, so it's going to be difficult to um, ascertain where he is. You're never quite sure what altitude they're coming at, that's the problem. Are they, uh. Fight. Ooh. There they are. Must have been close. Reload. I'll be back. Okay. I think what I'll do is switch to the uh, commander view. Try and spot the aircraft they want and leave a uh, more skilled gunner 
at the uh, the helm, or at the, the uh, anti-aircraft gun. Do you see something ahead? Black's following that fighter. Just behind, sadly. Switch to the other one. Right, as they are diving down. Dive the boat. Let's go down. Crash dive, crash dive. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So, as the darkness of night descends on us once more, uh, we're still searching for the skies, even though realistically there's going to be no more aircraft out this time of night, so we are safe for the moment. Uh, let's see, the weather's nice, it's nice and still, the water is calm. Uh, if we do spot another enemy ship, merchant ship, then we may well engage it with the deck gun. But for now, we're going to call it a day there. It's been a testing time. We made it up to our objective location. Unfortunately, uh, we were unable to complete our objective due to damage we sustained by having a deadly duel with a destroyer. Um, yeah, we've got not much to show for ourselves in this patrol. Well, no, I say, tell a lie. The beginning of the patrol was great with all the whaling ships and the oilers and stuff. But today, we've managed to self-preservation, destroy an es destroyer escort uh, for 1,300 tonnes and then we took out that um, sail sampan just at the end just to add a little bit more respectability to the last part of this patrol but we're limping home and hopefully next time we'll start back into port get fully repaired and maybe USS Salmon can ride the seas once again but for now we're going to leave it there thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye bye